Hi everyone. Do you know your Ikigai? Yes, you heard correctly. I am asking, do you know what's your Ikigai? Guys, if you have heard this term for the first time, that what is Ikigai? Then stay tuned till the end of this video. I won't take more than 5 to 10 minutes to explain this concept. And this is not at all related to any programming language and I am not going to teach you programming. Okay, So it is very general concept and this will be useful for everyone if you have not heard before. See, Ikikai is nothing but Japanese secret for happy and long living. This is a Japanese secret for happy and long living. This is originated from an island in Japan and the name of the island is Okinawa. Okinawa is the name of the island and from that island this concept is originated. Other of this particular concept Ikigai, Hector Gracia and Francis Mirles, they written a book with the name Ikigai, the secret, that's nothing but the Japanese secret for long and happy living. They says that if you are happy, then you can live for longer period of time. The deep meaning of this Ikigai is reason for being. What is the purpose of your life to this world? When you wake up in the morning every day, what you are going to do? What is the purpose actually? Who you are, who, whom you are actually? That's what the Ikigai is all about. So, I'll explain you the concept clearly. I'll tell you how I found my Ikigai. In the same way, you just try to find your Ikigai. So, this is about four different circles, intersection with each other. It's something like a Venn diagram. Okay. So, like this, you draw the circles on a piece of paper and do what I say. Write everything what you love. In that circle, write everything what you love. See, we love many things. Suppose, if I want to give you an example, I love coding. I love digital marketing. I love making friendship. I love doing business. I love establishing corporate organizations. I love to be in corporate field. I love dance. So whatever you love, you write everything there. Okay. After that, in this circle, you write it what you are good at. Means you may be loving 10 things, but you may be good at only one or two or more than, more than that or five you can, whatever it may be. See, I love many things, but I am good at coaching, programming and digital marketing. Okay. And I am good at maintaining relationship. I have good relationship with my family and friends. So what you love and what you are good at, both are different concepts. You may love 10 things, but you may be good at two or three. Okay. So whatever you are good at, simply write it there. And then. Here, in this intersection, you write it what the world needs. So if you take my example, I am good at digital marketing. I am good at establishing businesses. I am good at coaching. So among all these things, the coaching world is looking for. Okay. I may be good at two, three things, but among all, I am very good at training students and the world is looking for that. So I will say coaching and training over there, what the world needs in that section. And you check what you can be paid for. See you may be good at three things and the world may be requiring the two things. From the two, just write it 
for what you will be paid at so i am good at dance and of course world needs the dance also because dance is used for uh, like people people watch it for entertainment but people are ready to pay me for coaching only okay so i'll write coaching there why because i have been paid for coaching and it's proven since uh, last 15 years uh, people are paying me okay. now what you love and what you are good at that will be your passion passion is something when you spend hours time but still you won't get bored the energy levels will be one and the same so that will be your true passion see i love business i love teaching but if you ask me to sit in a business for continuously hours together i may not uh, resonate with that but when it comes to coaching i can coach students for 10 hours continuously so like this you have to identify your true passion and that will be your mission statement yes in this past 15 years i have trained thousands of students and now i am in a mission to train nearly 1 lakh students in next 2 to 3 years so that is my mission statement so like this you have to find it find your mission what's what's your exact mission is and you have to be very clear in your mission and see what you are good at and what the world is ready to pay that will be your profession so when it comes to me teaching is my profession so again i'll repeat it passion is nothing but being in the education industry being in technology being in software that is my passion to train 1 lakh students is my mission teaching is my profession and in the teaching i may be teaching so many subjects but what you are actually identified for what is that that core skill actually for which you have been known for so when it comes to me c c++ data structures and java these are the four areas where people know me very well and that is nothing but your vocation profession is nothing but what you have been doing that's nothing but teaching is my profession in that what is your exact skill that will be your vocation and after writing all these things that middle spot that will be your ikigai so friends this is how you need to identify your true passion and that will be your ikigai see my audience are engineering students and this video is specially for those students who are very much confused about their career see confused means after completion of their plus 2 that's something but what we call intermediate they have lot of confusion that which branch to take which college to join they may take mechanical or triple e or civil or different branches but finally they end up in uh, doing in software job or after studying of four years of engineering they will go for government job they will apply for banks means they will be trying different different things instead of that you try to identify your ikigai after identifying the ikigai implementing the ikigai is very very difficult why because you have to do lot of sacrifices you have to face lot of struggles otherwise you can't live with your ikigai hope this will be an valuable message from my side to you if you like this video please comment below and thank you so much for watching this bye bye see you in next video